Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Tay's Performance. Today in the driveway, we're not working on this. You guys, hopefully, should remember this giant back, Thatcher. I actually have two of these. This is the third one that's been in my hands. In the first one, I did a demo video on, and it had the model number and serial number on there. And like an idiot, I forgot to write it down. So a lot of people are asking about it. So they could order parts and stuff, which I 110% understand. And I dropped the ball. So, long story short, I bought another one. It didn't have it either. And that one actually started to build on. And then I kind of got busy. But we're going to do that. I promise. I do. But today, we're going to sell this puppy. For 600 bucks. So, I just took it out of long-term storage. These are my favorite Briggs engines. And I ran the tank. So, let's put some gas in it. Let's fire it up. Hopefully, this is better than the trailer. Now, the person who is buying this is either a landscaper or he's just doing thatching and aerating for extra money. Because I seen him advertise it on the Facebook Marketplace. So a little sea foam in there. And I have some regular gas. And it has some stable in there. Let's see what we got. Choke. We want the throttle on. On is forward. And we're going to give this thing a couple of rips. I really like how this machine turned out. I'm just working the oil because this thing has been sitting for quite some time. I have to check the video to see how long this thing's been sitting. But, yeah, that's good. Well, let's give it a rip. So, the only thing I have to do is tighten this back wheel. And I'll reach out to the guy and tell him, pick this thing up and pay me. But, let me show you to today's star. Now, it's funny, right? I just did an upload on my free lawnmower that needed a dollar, you know, I'm going to say two dollars in hardware to get it running. It seems like the guy gave up and he ordered the wrong part. Maybe I should do a video on how to order parts for your machine. I don't know. I mean, I kind of tell you guys but maybe it should be a little bit more in depth. I don't know. I'll think. I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh. Yeah. 
So anyway, it, it's funny what I get for free sometimes. And then it's funny what I have to pay for here on Long Island. I picked this up on the way to work. That is correct. On the way to work, 5.30 in the morning, I met with the buyer. Now, advertise this is running, and it's not. He said he had it running three, four years ago. I'm going to shoot his ad up right now, and his ad does not say that. Anyway, and I'll do our conversation, too. Here it is. I don't have a choice. I bought it anyway for $50. Bucks. It is what it is. And I can't come across everything for free. So, let's get this down. And I'll show you. Here it is. But in the meantime, I'm going to tighten up that wheel and message the seller that we can get this thing done. All right, so we just confirmed a time at our at this new and with the old. This is gonna suck. Just make sure I don't wanna. Whoops. And this is why I love my Honda Element. It's a very love-hate relationship. But you guys get the point. So. Oh. Let's get this out of here. So. We'll do that. And we will start working on the lawnmower. As much as I can. Until the guy comes. Excuse me. So, look at this low rider. Looks cool, but horrible for your grass. So this guy is a freaking butcher, or maybe even worse, a scalper. Now, I went at night, so I have no idea what a zone looks like. But like I said, he said he hired a landscaper. So, I mean, it is what it is. There is gas in the machine. So, as much as it looks cool, you know, I like things low to the ground. Your lawnmower and your grass is not one. So, let's get this up. Now, it's funny, I'm going to be starting up my lawn care vlog soon, but it's pretty, you know, I don't know how to learn this, but it's pretty pathetic, kind of say. Right, the landscapers are out there doing aeration and overseeding in my area. It's too cold. But if you had the winter we had, you know, a lot of them are hurting. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, I don't know. What do you... That's not what it's I mean, it's, 
He said he put gas in there. You know, let's try. Let's try. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Little sea foam. You know, we talk about sea foam, right? Sea foam has its limitations. It is not. It's. Can't say it's not magic in a bottle, but it works, right? We've seen this before. We've, we've seen Seafoam wake up lawnmowers from the dead. And gas has been in here for three to four years old, right? That's what we're going by what he said. And there's fresh gas in there. But who knows if that can of gas is so, Put a little bit in there. Say a prayer. Whatever you believe in. It's in really good shape. Has a little, the, the bag is a little messed up. The oil is clean, but looks low. I'm letting everything just work its way in. No priming, it's auto choke. Let's take a look at the blade. I'm just letting everything work its way in. And oh my god. This blade is wow. We're, we're definitely gonna. You know, we're definitely gonna you know, whack this blade. This blade might actually have to be replaced. Like I said, this machine looked a lot look worse. No, a lot worse. Look worse. Let's give it a I am banking on a carburetor cleaning. I mean, listen, this is not how I usually do videos, but Alright, so how long do we? Alright. I didn't hit the record button. I thought I did. So, just for poops and giggles, we did a little bit of sea foam in there. And I topped in some fresh gas. I'm not even going to drain it. So I have to take apart the carburetor. And that's when I'm going to drain it. He says he put fresh gas in there. Who knows if that gas is fresh, right? I mean, it is what it is. So, I'm going to let it kind of work its way and, and do its thing. Wow. We'll do a better shot of this blade, but this blade has definitely seen better days. Look at this. This is like a steak knife. Is this pen? I'm just looking at this pen. This is this blade? Holy cow. Alright. That's enough. Like I said, I did power wash this machine. Have a very good. Look at this. Look at hit something. Look at that bevel in the depth. I don't know. Positive thinking. You like positive thinking. Just working the oil. This is missing the spring. Good catch, Jason. See what happens when you buy things early in the morning? 
this is never going to work. There's supposed to be a spring. There is no spring. Hopefully I'll have a warm mode to take this out of. If not, then we gotta order. Yes, this thing shapes like freaking Michael Jackson. So, yeah, I mean, I almost wish I had to uh, do maybe a carburetor cleaning. God, this blade is freaking hard. Let's get that off. Look at this blade. There is nothing left. And it's a star pack. Which I don't have. This one isn't any better. So like this is his. This one's actually not bad. Let's try. See that right there, Robert Nighthawk? Do not put your fingers in. Thank God. So the blade. This blade cannot be saved. See that? Edge is almost gone. This here is almost gone. See what happens when you're low riding your lawn? So, uh, let me go figure something out. Go through my stash. And I'll see what we got. So, this is a video we're going to end up doing on our he said, she said. Because if you guys know, Mixed mullets and Roy's the boy, they have he said and she said that they do all their work in. And here in America, we don't do that. We uh we work in our driveway. <laughs> it's no better. At least they're out of the elements. I'm not. So I don't want to reveal our he said she said. So we're just gonna go through the top and we're gonna see. I have a couple of covers. Ooh. Hmm. A little pickle. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to be skinny. Let's see what we got as far as these. Alright, let's grab. I got three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so speaking of um, mixed mullets, right? He did a fantastic thing today, which, uh, well, he always does good things, right? But today, he did a, like, you know, me and my wife and I, we do an hour live, right? And that's just to catch up. Our live started because I'm new to Instagram, right? My wife encouraged it. And so did Henry and Moe's and Blowers. Right? So I, I did it anyway. And it's pretty good. What I should have done is figure out how to really use it at first. And 
I got a couple of hate mails because people wrote to me and never answered them. I didn't know Instagram has messages. What the hell? I know I'm 34 going on like 50 when it comes to certain things. So after that, I said, so I started answering them. And I still do, right? But it gets overwhelming at times. So we just have our live. And you could sit there and ask questions. Or don't. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to bring you guys down. So this is what came off, okay, it's missing the spring. This is what I have, no good. Now this looks promising. And what do we have here? This one's brand new I got from somebody. This is one. I think this is a winner, but let's see. <sighs> yep, winner, winner, chicken dinner. It has two bolts on it. Oh. So now we have to extract this spring because this one's in better shape. Put this one back because it's brand new. And we will start the extraction process. Alright, so here we are on my favorite workbench. We need to extract this spring. But I think what we're going to end up doing is just taking this whole assembly off with it. Because this spring probably going to be a pain in the ass to, to put in. How the heck does that thing even pop out in the first place is really beyond me. So I'm just using a pair of needle noses and I'm just pulling. Actually, this is plastic, so we don't want to use that to drive against it. So we're just going to rock the boat, per se. And now I'm just pushing out towards... I'm putting my hand over the spring, because I don't want that to go anywhere. Let alone my face. As you guys can see, I'm just ripping and pulling. Ooh. Here we go. So, there is our spring and tension. And just like that, this goes here into this hook. And this goes here. there, and this stays on the inside, like so. <sighs> Alright, so let's get this started. And then we can start manipulating. Uh oh, see, it's already coming out. So, this spring 
needs to peek through here. Can you guys see that? And then the other part of the spring gets crunched in between here. So let's get this going. some muscle. I wonder. Let's see if it puts in the vise, see if it's easier. Alright, so we have it in the vise. I'm putting pressure on the spring so it lines up. That's closer. And we're just going to try and line this up as we knock this in. Yep. And I'm still checking the hole on the outside where it's supposed to line up. And yes, I know I'm using a brass hammer because it's not it doesn't mar anything, but it's really not necessary to do so. You do not have to use that brass hammer. So now I'm just trying to line this up. <gasps> Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Never wait. Come on.
Alright. Plan F is Hey hey. This is in great shape. Put this underneath per se. These are torque clock. See that? These are the ones I give on my giveaway. I freaking love these things. See that? Clamp. No. We're getting closer. We need direct pressure on this. We're going to try and muscle this in, maybe, is that going to be the end result, is muscle. It's like, it's like if I had a second set of hands, but I can't, because the missus is doing her virtual teaching thing. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. want to get it in the hole. to just grip it and just put constant pressure. Alright, that's a lot better. And then we could use the pliers to get it in. We'll use this here. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use this. That'll just take us home. Come on. Can we? 
Yeah, we can let go of this, right? Let's see what happens. Right, we're free. And we are touching. Wonderful. Thanks, Milwaukee. You know what that means, right? We got to give more of these away. That is not part of the spring giveaway. Spring giveaway is going to be something else. And I think she was breaking my chops. That spring is here already. I don't know why she's so eager to give away my money. Blows my mind. She'd rather not spend it. She'd rather just give it away to you guys. All right, so let's put the lawnmower on its side. And I'm going to take these two bolts out. They should be 7 sixteenths. Yep. M12 impact. Now I'm keeping pressure on the other side because it's a stud. And that's that. We will take the new one. Everything is stuck. Everything is stuck. Of course, of course, it's stuck. So we just start it. To start it. Just enough threads and a little pull and it comes out. Let's get our new and improved one and we'll get this off. I'm going to line up these holes. It's going to be a little bit stubborn. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do is because these are exposed to rust a little bit of anti seize Now as I tighten this down I always just put it at the top. Sometimes I go crazy. You guys know that. But as you work its way down, right, it'll pull the anti seize through the threads. Just an extra step. You don't have to, but I don't know. I'm just we have it. And he sees everything. Whoever buys these one mowers from me, and even snowblower, is very lucky when they work on it next, because they don't have to worry about stuff like that. Now, we yeah. This is exactly what we're looking for. You know what's funny? I have never... Has anybody ever locked these? I never lock them. Right? Has anybody... Oh! Uh-oh. I never lock these. go put this back together so I'll save this again because you just never know all right so let's get this out and we're gonna run this but in the meantime I'll get the Honda that I just did and I'll show you what's missing all right we'll get a better idea we'll go side to side All right, so I kind of lost track of where I'm at. I had to uh, do something. Well, let's see. So let's see. Let's pull this blade back off again. This is too small. Yeah, I was working on uh, something else. Something just roll through the driveway. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now this will just clean up. Alright, so we're gonna call it quits after this. We're running out of daylight. 7.15. The guy with the air reader says, oh, I can't make it today. You're about 30 minutes awake, we do tomorrow morning. It's like no dip. I have a thing called the job, pal. He doesn't answer after that. So, anyway, I got Mandingo running in the back. Change of fate. I have to sell a Troy built lawnmower. The, uh, the one I got for free, right? A couple people wanted to buy it besides the one guy. So I went out and I bought one to ride that wave. And it only took a couple of days. I'm gonna ride the wave and we're gonna sell it. Good morning. I don't even know what day it is. I know uh, for you guys that are in like quarantine or I don't even know what they call it. If you're non-essential and you've been home, you guys don't know what day it is. I mean, I've been working like crazy. Oh, you know, today's Friday. So, it's early in the morning. Uh, it's like 7.30ish. And I just have to get this bad boy ready. Remember this? It's from a week ago. This is being sold today. So guess what? Small engines, one mowers, are essential. So let me uh, have to turn off the camera because I have to put the pull string on there. I have to put this away. Hopefully we have another lawn mower done today. I could reuse this. Give me a minute. So I've been working like an absolute madman. I'm not complaining. Maybe I am. But it is what it is. We just have to keep America running. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Everybody has to do their part in times like these. Whether you're staying inside, we actually have to go out and turn some wrenches. Or whatever else you're doing. No matter what, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a very important job. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's making me sick seeing people fight over what's essential and what's not essential. Stop it. You're employed, you have a job, you should be grateful. There is a use for you. Don't stop this nonsense, man. This, this is the last thing we need to do is fight over stuff like this. If anything more than ever, we really need to come together. So that's my little rant and rave for the day coming from an essential worker. I probably put some more hours than most essential workers do. Alright. Got some uh, goodies. That will also come out. And this goes in. Alright, so I'm here. Waiting for the guy. He's in route. So the reason why this mower is 125 instead of 135 or 140 is one, I had to repair the bed. Two, the front wheels are a little wobbly and they're bold. So for me to try and get full ass in price and invest in wheels, it's really not worth it. So it is what it is. I mean, I got I paid 50 bucks for mower. I have another $3.77 into it. The handle came from a junk mower. So now I just have to get the uh, edger sorted out if I want to. I hate those things. They barely sell. I don't know. We'll see. Alright guys, so another mower sold. I don't know if you guys could see that, right? I don't know. They're uh, more than one person, so I can't take my uh, beautiful creeper sold shot. So, <clears throat> I guess, small engine work? Listen, if, if the government says you're not an essential worker, small engine should remind you that you are, because here we are, selling, making money, and moving forward. So now my other point is, is that this guy, right? Social distancing. Lord have mercy. So it's funny how people want to practice social distancing, but again, we're exchanging money, which is dirty as hell, and they're taking the lawnmower that I just had my hands all over. They asked me to start it so I could show them. So these guys uh, are, are uh, how can I, oh, they are getting rid of their landscaper, and they're cutting the grass themselves. So good for them, start, and uh, hopefully, you know, maybe it seems starts a trend for themselves, you know. 
you know, for us, we I really enjoy my grass, so I'll never have somebody else cut it for a multitude of reasons. And also, too, I'm cheap. I'm not going to pay somebody to do something I can do. And, um, yeah, that's really it. So I've had people, um, I have, have not had anybody spray Lysol on a machine at all. It's funny, I was talking to Nick from Medford about that and uh, about how people are practicing social distancing. And he said that he had somebody Lysol down an entire tractor after they exchanged money and sold it. I'm like, you gotta be effing kidding me. I would have licked the steering wheel and ran. <laughs> Just to prove a point. But I had nobody do anything extreme like that. Like, at first it was handshakes, then people didn't want to do handshakes, then it was elbows, then it was touching feet. I guess this is my first sale where coronavirus has really set in and ain't nobody doing nothing. My job did go into a semi-sort of lockdown, but I guess, you know, we'll save that for, uh, I guess, a live or something. You know, I don't want to go rambling on. You know, we got a purpose of this video is we got to keep it moving and I got to kind of check out where the hell I kind of left off because I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, guys. Money in the bank. So I got to uh, put it in the book and we'll go from there. All right, so obviously I've been working because I'm essential. Let me see what they got. This one's actually from China. You know what? We'll save this for last. It's not Corona. Everything's going to be fine. I have no idea what some of this stuff is because I forgot what I wrote. I have an idea, but I don't know what's what. Why is she getting this? This is a heated shoulder. Hey Chris, one of the packages was your heated shoulder. She's making a big stink over this thing. Guess what? She has this habit of throwing all my crap in the garage now because of this corona virus. That's her way of keeping things clean. This is the worst thing that could ever happen. Oh, you know what this is? You know exactly what this is. Post one of the links in my videos. Maybe they sent me enough. Remember, remember I tell you guys? Buy in bulk. It's been so long. But I think I got a bunch of these for less than $2 each. I forgot. I'll let you guys know. I even forgot what video I posted it on. Alright, so that's cool. The other ones, the flat style ones that I've been using, those I got at a dollar piece. I think I bought a hundred of those. Yeah, I bought a hundred of those at a dollar piece. These I think are 30. Yeah, 30 of those at less than $2 each. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And, these were on sale. I think these are 8 bucks a piece. If, if they had more, I would have bought them all. But I got the last two. I would have bought every freaking thing they had. Even if they had 100 of them, I would have bought them. Brand new set of mulching blades for the new style lawnmowers that come with these. No one has a freaking clue when it comes to lawnmower blades except for people like me and hopefully you. If not, go through my channel and we can talk about lawnmower blades because we definitely have done it. Nobody has the slightest clue. They just care if it freaking cuts. These are $8 each. Shipped. Disgustingly cheap. I wish I would have seen them closer. I would have bought, like, if they had a thousand, if they would have had a hundred, oh, without a doubt. I would have freaking took all of them. You will never get a lawnmower blade this cheap. Never. Never. And these are mulching. See the teeth? Nobody cares. They just want to see a new blade or a sharp blade. I tried educating people. It's easier to educate somebody when it comes to a snowblower. Lawnmowers, nobody cares. They just wanted to cut grass. Snowblowers, for some reason, they, even though it just blows snow, they want to be educated. Oh well. So, uh, yeah, I know, I know I'm kind of dancing around what I need to do because I kind of want to blow up on things. Oh, wait a minute. This package is from China. From the... 
Guangdong district. Everything is going to be fun. I don't know why I ordered this. But, oh look. It's brand new. I got a Harbor Freight engine for 10 bucks. It's missing the recoil. So, I have Harbor Freight engines that have a warranty from Harbor Freight. Guess what? I'm going to put this recoil on the engine, I'm going to return it and get a brand new engine. It's just the way it is. That's life.